First of all, really big shout out to Glenn on our team, one of our newest CMs. Uh, he came up with something that I just thought was was brilliant and worth presenting to you. Um, it, it's it's worth taking action on. Uh, we were thinking about just how Performance Max is working, and one of the things that he mentioned is if you're using YouTube videos inside of Performance Max, Google is going to put your media um, in every available uh, 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 inventory placement, which is you know basically Google's stated goal. The problem with that, the the the, the fear behind it is that for videos, um, the thumbnails for the videos are going to be auto-generated if you don't generate custom thumbnails. So if you're used to running YouTube videos in the past, what, especially if you run in-stream videos, thumbnails have been irrelevant because nobody ever saw the thumbnail because they would just see the video start to play right before uh, whatever it is that they're about to watch. So you may have gotten into the bad habit, and I only say that because we may have gotten into the bad habit, of just uploading videos that we were gonna use for video ads and not paying attention to things like the thumb thumbnails and titles and descriptions. Those things are now important uh, in theory because Google is going to take that media and use it anywhere that it wants. So if you're using a video for Performance Max, Make sure, and I'll have more context, by the way, as we've done more of this, and there's, there's, you know, there'll probably be some more back, best practices rolling out. But in the meantime, make sure that you're actually, A, uh, building out a custom thumbnail that's compelling and attractive. And it's not just, you've seen it. If you upload a video to, to YouTube, every single time Google finds the dumbest face you could possibly make, it's just me doing this. And then, and then that's the thumbnail. So you want to make sure that that you create a custom thumbnail, that you're being really intentional about um, what the thumbnail is 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 selling. Um, the title. Uh, I don't know that um, descriptions might end up getting pulled into metadata. I don't really know, to be honest. So better safe than sorry. Optimize your videos. Optimize the videos that you're using for Performance Max because it's not unlikely that some of that stuff um, bleeds through, just in terms of the way that Google's using its its inventory and where it's placing your media. So um, for whatever that's worth, I thought that was a really, really phenomenal point. Um, so I wanted to share it with you all. If you're running Performance Max and you're using videos, make sure the videos are optimized because you don't necessarily know exactly how it is that Google's going to um, use and display those videos. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.